Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my new video, it's Hypno here. I really hope you enjoy and in today's video I'm going to be playing the self-made super strong logbait deck which has been working out super well. I'm currently at the top 20 in the world with all of my three accounts. So yeah, let's see what we can do for today. And I have this guy that I'm facing right here in my friend list. So I know that he's playing a super fast Mega Knight cycle deck currently. Gonna go Princess to splash the tower while hitting the bats. And that actually took out like the Spear Goblins also. So perfect Princess right there. And that's a horrible Mega Knight because for just two Elixir, I can activate the King Tower right here. And then I'm gonna be looking pretty good for defense for the rest of the game, honestly, since um, King Tower helps out to defend quite a lot, so just going for skellies onto the Mega Knight, make sure the Mega Knight doesn't get like a lot of damage onto my King, which it really wouldn't, but yeah, just using the skellies to tank for my barrel also, and the Princess should clean up the Bomber, so once the Bomber dies, he might go bad, so I'll instantly try to predict that with my E-Spirit, and okay, he decided to go Spear Goblins, I can still go I-Spirit though to take that out, and okay, he's going Ram Rider, which is kind of aggressive, I would say, of course he's gonna get the charge, yeah, but now he doesn't have a lot of elixir to defend, so okay, that's a pretty good e spirit. Okay, honestly, perfect e spirit since the Dark Goblin didn't even get a hit onto his tower, so well played to him right there. Bomber cleans up everything too, but I do have the Evo Barrel now, so I'll support with the e spirit and Skellies and see what lane he's trying to defend. And looks like he's just gonna let the right side go completely. And I think he has enough elixir to go ram, but. Okay, yeah, that's the ram. Quite obvious that he would go for the ram, honestly, since the bats are tanking for it, right? And hopefully the ram doesn't charge right here. And man, the ram right out, like, still charges. It's so annoying whenever you go ice spirit and then go gang onto the ba um onto the ram. A lot of the times the uh, goblin gang will push back the ram rider and that way it charges onto your tower, even though normally it wouldn't have charged onto the tower from that placement anymore. So yeah, that's kind of annoying, but... Um, not too bad, honestly, even though he's up a lick, not, not elixir, even though he's up damage, since, yeah, I think I can defend well, um, if I just keep my Valkyrie E spirit or I spirit to defend the Ram Rider, he's not gonna be breaking through with it, I, with it, I feel like, so, perfect timing with the Goblin Gang right there, honestly, since, the Mega Knight is not defending that, of course, and he kind of messed up his defense, so I'm getting crazy damage right there with the Spear Goblins, and just like that, I'm up a lot of damage, so gonna go in with the Barrel while defending, since he's gonna go very aggressive now, and he's still gonna be forced to defend, and look at that Evil Skellies plus the Spirits right there, that's cleaning up everything perfectly right there, and yeah, that's definitely gonna be GG, since... There's no way you can come this back now with 5 seconds left of course, so very nice first game right here against this guy. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next game. We in the next game right here against Nikoko, um, so let's see, okay, I was gonna say let's see if he's playing his giant deck that everyone basically hates, like I always see people hating on him for just going Prince Giant first play and spamming like his whole elixir bar with one push at the bridge at the start of the game, but doesn't look like he's playing the stack right here, so let's see what kind of... Okay, he's got the P.E.K.K.A., so gonna pressure him with the Prince's opposite lane, since that's gonna force out Elixir and keep him from having a lot of Elixir to support the P.E.K.K.A., so just gonna go Skellies and di then Dark Goblin opposite lane, because that's of course gonna defend the guards, but at the same time, that's gonna start defending the P.E.K.K.A. too, so he's forced to go Void, and I'm actually just gonna pressure the opposite lane, since I want to make sure I have my Evo Skellies in cycle to defend the P.E.K.K.A. too, depending on... Okay, wait, I'm actually just gonna use them anyway, since that P.E.K.K.A. might get onto tower for one hit, so it's just better to use the Evo Skellies right there and make sure it doesn't, so... Okay, he goes for the Ghost, but I get good chip damage with the Spear Goblins, I'm just gonna go for a Dart Goblin like this, make sure the like Ghost only gets two hits onto my tower that way, and... He's kind of low on Elixir, so he has to ignore the whole Valkyrie, which is super good damage for me, of course, and he can't ignore the Dark Goblin plus E-Spirit, so he goes Battle Ram onto that. I just gotta keep in mind that his next Battle Ram will be the Evolution one, since he already has played two of them now, but I have Goblin Gang Evo Barrel now, which is gonna be perfect pressure, so if he's not careful, he could lose both towers, or at least take a lot of damage on one and maybe lose the other. So look at the right side, that's almost gonna be tower down, yeah? It's actually good for me that it's not tower down yet, I would say, because that way I can pressure the left side too, and maybe take the left side before the king tower starts helping out, since of course now it's not helping out, um, because the other tower is still alive, right? But once the tower is down, it activates and 
keeps defending the left side tower too. So it's good for me that with one minute left, his tower is still standing since one princess shot or a spirit connection will take it on the left side at the end of the game anyway. So let's see how he defends the barrel right here. If he's even gonna defend it, honestly. And he's just setting up the mother witch, but look at that dark goblin go and um, stacking like Princess and Dart Goblin is really annoying for him and he kind of messed up since the Mother Witch is going in front so I can Evo Skellies to keep my Princess alive, E-Spirit to retarget the, or make the like Evo Battle Ram stop charging I mean, and then go, okay he went E-Spirit so that's gonna clean up the bats but wait the Evo Skellies on the right, yeah they're connecting and he might get 3 crown right here if he's not careful, okay he goes for the Rage but there's no way he can even break through on offense, so this is gonna be like a 2-0 game. I'm gonna try to get the three crown right here. Let's see if he gives let's see if he gives it to me. Or if he's like, okay, wait, he's gonna go for the Pekka, but with the freeze that might still be tower down, like with the freeze of the ice spirit, but nah, he managed to defend. Still a very nice game against Nikoko right here though. So yeah, GG's, and I'll see you guys in the next game. We the next game right here against um, Kotori, which is Nate. Most of you guys should know him. He's like a minor um, rocket one trick or minor poison basically, but minor poison and rocket haven't really been good like the past season. So he switched to drill recently, which is like, honestly, drill is like not that bad of a matchup, but also not a good matchup. I don't really know if I'd rather face like minor rocket or minor poison or drill. So yeah, it's gonna be def definitely interesting. He always sets up those early Teslas, which I don't really like agree with, honestly. He's going for the poison, which is like a aggressive poison, but not a bad poison since of course that cleans up the goblin gang, but I still take no hits from the drill. So he only got that poison damage. And of course he's managing to cycle. Wait, he messed up the knight. It's gonna be so much damage from the dart goblin just because of that small mis misplay. Look at that. Wow. Like when the dart goblin gets onto the tower and it chips away, it's actually like melting the tower so quick if you yeah don't retarget it or anything. So gonna be a very nice princess right here since he didn't expect that instantly after the knight died. And he doesn't have lock and cycle and no knight to tank. Okay, there's the knight back in cycle after he played the skellies and bomber, of course. But maybe I could get the princess onto tower again while the skellies are keeping the bomber in place. And that should even be another hit, so perfect princess right there, getting two hits onto the tower and still forcing out the Tesla, so I just gotta keep in mind the next Tesla um, will be the evil Tesla again, or not again, the first time I should say, so yeah, I have... I also have my um, Valkyrie for his next drill. I never really randomly want to cycle my Valkyrie because then he can just go for like, um, yeah, the drill poison and I won't have anything good to, to defend if my Valkyrie is out of cycle. So just gonna go Dart Goblin right here, make sure the drill doesn't really do anything and it's not even any hits onto my tower. So he's still gonna have to defend the Dart Goblin. Okay, he goes for the Knight, kind of high though since, yeah, that's like the Dart Goblin doesn't get killed from the Cannoneers. So Okay, he's going for the evil drill right here. Just gonna go for both of my spirits, E Spirit and I Spirit together. Clean up the clean up the goblins if you didn't know. And that should be a good defense right here. Yeah. Of course the goblin gang always will die to the poison, but I just gotta make sure that even though he gets the poison onto my tower, I just gotta make sure that the drill doesn't get any any damage. And since I'm up so much damage, if only the poison gets damage, I'm always gonna be looking good since I'll keep my damage advantage. Um, for the rest of the game if I manage to defend like that. So I'm gonna go very aggressive with the barrel since, okay. Also that's perfect for me since now I can defend with the uh, evil skellies. He doesn't have enough elixir to really go poison on offense since he had to de defend so much against the evil barrel and now he's kind of cooked honestly. He has the evil tesla which he has to waste. Okay, not gonna go princess since he went for the log. I could go princess onto the bomber but yeah, it's kind of obvious so he tried to predict that with the fire spirit too so good that I didn't go for it. Gonna try to yeah maybe keep my princess alive on the right and then pressure the left side with the barrel again. I really need to like outcycle the log for once to get that last damage onto his tower, but okay, okay, that was already enough. So that's gonna be GG's right here against Nate. Pretty nice win right here. He didn't play too well, honestly. So GG's and honestly, I want to play like a little bit more with my wall breakers variation without the dark goblin. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. So GG's and I'll see you guys in the next game. We in the next game right here against Eco Maple or however you pronounce this guy's name and I faced him earlier I'm pretty sure he's running like a very interesting Evo Pekka deck which no one really else um, was playing so far besides him so let's see if he's still playing that variation and 
very good damage to the start of the game with the Goblin Mirror. So just gonna go Princess to make sure that cleans up the guards. And kind of a bad little Prince since that's not in the lane of my Princess. So he's still forced to arrows that. And um, like Little Prince is never really good against Cannoneers since you can basically just ignore it or counter it with Goblins or Goblin Gang and get another counter push going. So, okay. I'm just gonna make sure I defend the bats and also support the right with the e-spirit. So if he ignores that, that's gonna be good damage on the right. Of course he can activate the king tower, but I don't really mind that honestly. So Okay, wait, very good timing for me with the um princess at the bridge, since he just went battle ram at the back, and now I can go Evo Skellies to block the guards hits, so my Valkyrie doesn't get hit instantly, and he's still forced to arrows, so my Valkyrie stays healthy because the he was Skelly's blocked the first guard hit, and now he doesn't have anything good in... Okay, nah. Man, if I played my barrel straight onto the tower and not in the back, so the bomber wouldn't have been able to splash the barrel, that could have been so much damage. And I think also both wall breakers would have connected instead of one, because the barrel would have tanked for a longer time, which would have made my other wall breaker connect too. But yeah, it's all good. Just a little bit of a mistake on my side right there. Also him having the king tower activation. Is a little bit annoying, but it's not gonna be like too bad, honestly, against him because he doesn't have like the best barrel defense. So even with the King Tower being activated, if he doesn't have like arrows and cycle, he's still gonna struggle to defend it, no matter if the King Tower is activated or not. So we did force out the arrows right here. So I don't know, I might be able to outcycle him since. Yeah, I mean, I, I already have my barrel right here and he doesn't have the arrows in cycle. So I can just play my barrel and go wall breakers the right side since that's gonna be very great pressure against him. And okay, very good damage on the right and also, yeah, good chip on the left, honestly. So looking pretty good right here, honestly. He goes Pekka in the back right now. So, I mean, that's a decent Pekka since that's gonna make sure that my princess will die to the Pekka and I can't really protect my princess since, um, yeah, he has arrows. So... No matter what I try to protect the princess with, he's just gonna go arrows and kill everything. And I kind of want to make sure that the battle ram goes in front right here, which is kind of hard to do though. So, I don't know, I I can't really... Okay, wait, wait, I have to be a bit careful right here. Go for a second bulk to make sure the battle ram doesn't get like too much damage. And then go for Easter to clean up the bats. Gang instantly. Okay, perfect gang right there actually, cleaning up everything. Go for late goblins to defend the guards and... I have to be careful of the upcoming Evo Pekka since that's gonna be great pressure. Kind of a bad battle run, I would say, since that should be an easy defense with the Skellies, Valkyrie, everything. And the... Oh no, the E-Spirit didn't jump onto the bats, man. That's a little bit annoying, but it's all good. Still a good defense. I can just kite back the guards with the wall breakers and force out another response or grab like one connection with them. So, okay, very nice wall breaker damage. He goes Pekka in the back, so... Also Bomber, I'm just gonna go Princess to kill the Bomber and splash the tower, force out another response, perfect E-Spirit to predict the bat, so... Okay, he didn't even need the guard since one bat hit the, hit the Princess and the Bomber shot that way would have been enough, so he's gonna be forced to arrows on defense right here, yeah, I still get two hits from the Goblins actually, but I have to make sure I defend the Evo Pekka now, so... Okay, this is a little bit scary. Go E-Spirit and Valkyrie high to kill the LP. Then Goblins to stop the Pekka and Goblin Gang to decide. So if he arrows, okay, perfect Goblin Gang. So that way that doesn't hit everything. I have to get another E-Spirit down here. Block the Bomber so that doesn't kill everything. And okay, wait, I'm still alive actually. Okay, I'm up damage also. So he's got, wait, that's a horrible battle run because like Valkyrie E-Spirit is definitely gonna defend that. And wait, that's tower down on the left. All right, GG's right here against Eco Maple and yeah. I'll see you guys in the next game. We in the next game right here against Formi and this guy always runs with giant triple spell if I remember correctly but I haven't played him in a week so just going for barrel to the corner um, making sure if he for some reason is playing the tornado he can't activate and I really like going goblin split against this guy because yeah look at that he goes for zap, zap but that way I can just go goblin gang split and he's gonna struggle to defend that like he's gotta um, over commit quite a lot um, and I still get the Wallbreaker connection actually, so yeah, think about it. I went Goblins to back, Goblin Gang and Wallbreakers, and he had to go Guards, Zap, like he went Zap onto my Cannoneer Tower and the two Goblins, right? Then he still had to waste Rage and, um, and Guards, which is the exact same amount of Elixir, which I spent on offense, so I still got damage, and yeah, I didn't even 
really needed to use any elixir, right? Because we both basically spent the same. So it's just free damage that I get right there. And I can tank for the wall breakers with the skellies and goblins. So he's forced to arrow stat, which is honestly perfect for me. So just gonna keep up the pressure with the gang because I know he's not he doesn't have enough elixir right now to defend both lanes. And once he defends my princess, I can also go for the evil barrels. So I know my evil skellies are coming up too, so if I go for evil barrel, then goes um, e-spirit, I'm back to my evil skellies to defend the dark prince too, so the dark prince won't get onto my tower or yeah, even close to that honestly, so looking pretty good right here, he's already calling it good game, since like both of his towers are down to 1000 HP, but I still have to be careful that I don't um, lose my tower to a big push, but I can just keep up the pressure honestly, and that way he's not gonna be able to make a good push, or at least he won't have a lot, like a lot of elixir to support it. I mean, unless he decides to, for some reason, let let like the princess take his tower, of course, then he can still set up a big push, but I'm honestly not worried about that, since I feel like I can still defend that kind of push quite easily. I just gotta make sure the prince doesn't take out my Valkyrie, so going for the Valkyrie low onto the goblin giant, and then distracting the prince um, for a lot, like, lot of time with my swarm cards like Skellies, Goblin Gang, Goblins. So just like that, that's a very easy defense right here, honestly. And yeah, like he's got one more push in him maybe, but that's gonna be with the normal Goblin Giant and not the evil one. So honestly, he could like, I'm, I mean, it's not really worth it for him to give up, of course, since he can always maybe make a comeback um, with giant or with goblin giant triple spell. But honestly, with 20 seconds left, it's basically GG's. But yeah, of course, he can just give his last effort um, to the end of the game. And yeah, there's just no way he's gonna break through right here, honestly. So that's gonna be an easy defense, especially with the second Valkyrie right here. The, go the goblin gang will defend the guards too on the left. Even though, of course, the guards wouldn't have taken the full tower. But yeah, not giving him that free damage. So GG's right here. That's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys for my next video tomorrow.